Hi guys, it's Laura. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I have a plan with me for this week, which is the 26th through August 1st. And that is so painful to say. <laughs> um, yeah. What? <laughs> I can't. Um... We're not gonna get into that right now. Um, I'm gonna use this kit from Sparrow Plans. I used to be a PR girl for Sparrow Plans, and then my life went to heck in a handbasket. So, um, yeah, that's what happened with my PRing for Sparrow Plans. No, no, no. That was Sticker Lovin', which I'm using Sticker Lovin' in this spread also. I can't remember. If I used, I feel like I used something. I pulled something, Sticker Lovin'. I can't remember what it was now. Um, anyways, <laughs> this kit was not foiled when I got it. I pulled Scribble Prince Co. And then I think all of these were Glam Planner. This one I cut because of where um, this like Summer Lovin' was gonna fit because it was a full box so it was gonna fit like way down here at the bottom. I thought about putting it on this box which was gonna be cute but the heart was gonna land like right on top of the sailboat and it was like almost the same size so I decided to cut it so it's just kind of like right here so the bottom and top of this box are kind of empty this one also has um, a little bit of shimmer on it this box is not foiled but I figured it's fine it's kind of a busy pattern so it's it's just what it is but I did put foil on all of the other boxes but it was not a foiled kit to start with anyways Sparrow Plans I think she she got another job um and I don't know if her shop is closed but she definitely like got really busy with working her other job so um yeah that's what happened there. <laughs> um, and my life also went to heck in a handbasket. I think this is back in 2020. Might have been 2019. I can't even remember. Anyways, um, you guys know I love like sailing anchor kits, that kind of thing. This week is um, like technically the Olympics started the week before. I'll show you that spread in a minute. Um, but this week is kind of like major me watching gymnastics and I don't have a gymnastics kit um or like an Olympic kit but I figured the red white and blue in this kit was really cute so and it's very summery that that was my rationale for this week um there's some like labels bill dues sidebar type things um icons teardrops these are like little they're not individual boxes they're like um like a strip and then checklists and then the weekend banner deco scripty type things which I love from her shop um and then like I don't know just like functional variety type stuff I did also really like her little like movie marquee with this kind of ombre effect but it's very large so movie marquees in general are really big though um and then she has like this selection of headers little things not too too many but there is a selection I think you could have gotten glitter headers with the kit also, I did not, so I picked up, like, I, I pulled stuff from my collection. Four half boxes, a couple, like, labels and things, and then work labels, a couple more of these, like, tiny little appointment labels. So they're not quite as thick as the ones here. Um, they're, like, a little bit skinnier. So there's that this must have been like a mini kit or something because there's not a lot here um there are date covers with like a blue wood pattern I did go ahead and put the date numbers on already these are washi strips so they're not all the same um width but they're a solid color which is really nice because that's going to be really easy to like layer on you can use them kind of as a label or you know as background or whatever and then this really cute bottom washi I'm not sure if I'm going to pull in um like a blue or something like on top of it um I haven't quite decided yet what I'm gonna do there or maybe even like a gold um like at the top I don't know I I don't know how high exactly this comes up but I feel like it might look a little unfinished because it's such a light background color we shall see what happens here um I don't know 
I don't want to pull in a ton of red because there's not a lot of red in this kit, but like this, this kind of brighter blue, I really, really like. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens with that. But this is the kit for the week. But I do want to show you the previous spread um, because I kind of left it a little bit unfinished <laughs> last week. So this was a kit from Sadie's Stickers, but it was a B6 kit. So it was kind of a little off in sizing. And I don't know if that was supposed to be because of the kit size or if it was just because it was like a misfit like... I picked it up in like a mystery sale kind of situation. I don't know. I still don't know the answer to that. I didn't bother looking it up or anything like that. But <laughs> um, this is how the kit turned out. It's really, really cute. There is so much foil. And I did pull in like a ton of that true rose gold foil, not the kind of like champagne-y rose gold foil that... Um, that uh, her shop is a little bit more known for. I pulled in like the very, very coppery rose gold foil which is a lot of what I have um but it's fine like it all kind of goes together because of the different tones in the kit with like the the more gray tones and then like these multiple colors of orange and then the whites and the brownish taupey colors like it just worked so um I think it I think it turned out fine um I don't really have anything that I'm like I don't like how this is going together I maybe should have used the whiter box on the side um, not the creamier color because there are like the white and cool tone grays um, but I did pull in like the creamier tone in the washi so I don't know like overall it's fine because like there's this kind of color up here so I don't know it's it works for me like I'm not I don't feel like I need to change anything so um there's that um there's um I think just this one spot that I can't fill in because I don't want it on video um because I don't have control over who watches my videos and I don't know who watches my videos um so I can't fill that in um but something I was very emotional over um and then yeah, I was a little emotional the rest of the week because of that. Um, but there is definitely like an Olympics thing. Oh, the Bucks one also. And I have this like adorable little emoji, which is wearing a green outfit. Um, this was on like her Olympics sheet, but I was like, oh my gosh, that's perfect for the Bucks. So the Bucks won the NBA championship this day, which I'm from Wisconsin. So that was like perfect. And then I do have like some of the little Olympics ones and then I have like a little balance beam one here um, because I started watching um, the gymnastics stuff, which holy cow, <laughs> women's team finals were today, this morning, and we'll get into all of that. I also went on a date this day, um, this Sunday. Today is actually Tuesday of this week, so uh, we've got that going on. And I just realized that I could plan this week here or I could plan it the next, like after the August monthly. But I think I'll plan it here because it's just the first that's here. So it makes more sense to put it with the July. So because there's five because it's undated. So there's five weeks in every month. So I could have put it here and then I'd still have enough room. So anyways, I was just pondering that. <laughs> um, but yeah, so let me kind of get going. I'm going to put this washi at the bottom to start um, because, uh, like I said, even though I might put something above it, I don't, I don't know yet and I don't know how tall this is. I'm probably going to have to white out. I don't typically white out, but this is very light colored washi and I think it's just going to look a little ridiculous. Um, but yeah, so I mean spoiler alert just because it is very recent but um I'm pretty sure you would have heard by now but like yeah I'm gonna talk about the Olympics gymnastics which is what I'm spoiling alert about women's team final if you don't want to hear about it 
maybe just put me on like sped up and mute or something. <laughs> um, but that's what I'm going to talk about. So yeah, it's already happened. So I'm sure, like I said, it's been like huge in the news already. Um, because it's just like, wait, what? I watch live because I don't want any spoiler alerts. I am such a diehard fan that I'm like, I can't handle getting things spoiled, especially for the Olympics. Like if it's like nationals or something, like I deal with it um, just because I often can't watch. Um, and then I'll go back and watch later. But Olympics, like heck no. I want to watch from the beginning. <laughs> and I was so bummed because... I don't have TV and so they don't broadcast everything on streaming which is super annoying like I would be happy to pay for streaming content um, but everything is like you have to log in with you know cable service or whatever um, or TV service or I don't even know I don't have anything I don't have cable I don't have TV I don't have Roku I don't have I don't have any of it so I'm always like I don't know how to do this but I got like Peacock or whatever which is free um so I could watch like when it's live and I can also watch like the primetime replay stuff I think no actually I don't think I can um I don't know I don't know how it works <laughs> anyways um I can watch live which is nice, but I'm on Tokyo time, which is crazy. Thankfully, I'm a teacher. <laughs> it's summer because if I had to do this with a job, I get it. Like, it doesn't work for people. Um, I just happen to be living this life. Okay, the other side fit perfectly. This one is definitely short. Um, I don't know what's up with that. Anyways, it's light enough that like it doesn't really matter and I'm not going to like lift it with undo, but I might end up whiting out just this line. <sighs> I don't know. We'll see. But anyways, um, I watch live because I'm a diehard fan and I don't want to miss anything and I don't want spoilers. So I was watching it like 4.45 this morning. I got up as when the competition started and USA started on vault with ROC, which is Russia, which I had to look that whole thing up because I was like, I thought Russia wasn't able to compete. And I don't know, essentially it sounds like a bunch of loopholes or whatever, but I'm not going to get into that because I don't really know all the details. Like I was just like, I don't understand what this ROC thing is because they kept saying Russia, but then it was ROC. And I was like, what? I don't, I don't get it. I'm sure a lot of other people did the same thing because it was like an easy Google search. <laughs> um, but anyways, we were like, you get the, they paired them up with like where people, like where the teams scored. Um, so the top scoring teams were in the rotation together, which doesn't, hasn't happened in the past because they've had more gymnasts competing at the same time before so you would either like I think they had rotations by themselves if I'm not mistaken or they had I can't quite remember how they did it um to be honest with you they have like two rounds like I really can't remember how they did it um it might have been random how they were paired I don't know but because they only had three gymnasts competing on an event it, it's like it doesn't take very long so um they had two uh countries at a time and they did every other which was wild to watch that was super crazy um I was not prepared for that at all but that was cool um so they did every other with the country's gymnasts and so like it'd be like Russia U.S. Russia U.S. or whatever or opposite and three people up all three scores count which is different than qualifying because Qualifying was four gymnasts up, three scores count, so they could drop one. Well, they started on vault, which highest scoring 
teams get to go in Olympic order, which is starting on vault, vault bars being floor, which is the best order to be in because finishing on floor is great. Not starting on bar or beam is excellent um, because that's very like nerve wracking, all that kind of stuff. So um, yeah, Olympic order is, is typically a really, really good order um, to start in and vault is typically like the U.S.'s best event. Floor is also really good, um, usually. And, <sighs> whew, okay, so Grace McCallum, who I've been following her for years. Um, I had a gymnast that ended up going to the same gym as her, and then Oh, what's her face from the last Olympics also went there. So I've just known about her for a very long time, especially like being from the Midwest. Um, I can't remember her name. Oh gosh, she went on and did college gymnastics. Anyways, um, <laughs> she, she just, she's grown up so lovely. Like her gymnastics is just so pretty now. Um, she used to be kind of gangly, but she went up, rocked it, um, and then Jordan Childs, and then it was Simone. And Simone, who we all know, is an amazing vaulter, um, was not doing her new vault, which is expected to be debuted at, like the event finals um but she was gonna do a a vault that was worth I think it was worth a 5.8 and she like bailed out of it in the air essentially um like she opened her body up and stopped her rotation or stopped her twisting well I guess stopped her rotation because she opened up and um was not going to be continuing to go around anymore so she was landing but her head was still twisting and she landed very very low it was amazing she was on her feet um and just like what even <laughs> um it was completely wild and I I was freaking out when she was in the air um like I I mean I coached gymnastics I was you know I'm a devout follower of gymnastics and having been a coach like you just are sometimes looking for things a little differently so I don't know I just I flipped freaked out when she was in the air um not when she landed like that's just where I'm at with gymnastics and I was like what what's happening like what is she doing because when she was in the air I was like I don't like I don't know what vault she's doing um is essentially what my thought process was um uh, because she wasn't twisting enough like she wasn't completing her twist. Like she was just hanging there, not doing enough. And I was like, I don't, I don't get it. And then she was like landing. And so essentially I think her start value, like I said, I think she posted one that was supposed to be a five, eight and she did a vault that was worth a five zero oh, start value. Um, so and I want to say she did a Yurchenko one and a half and she was supposed to do a Yurchenko two and a half. I can't quite remember if that's correct or not. Um, but I feel like the start values I'm saying are correct. But anyways, after that, she pulled out of the competition. And so the other three gymnasts had to do all of the events. But of course, Simone was going to do all of the events. So like Jordan Childs hadn't warmed up bars because she wasn't going to be doing bars. And all of a sudden on their next rotation, Jordan Childs had to do bars. And I think Grace was going to do every event. Suni was going to do 
beam and bars. But then all of a sudden, soon you had to do floor. Um, like, it was just crazy. <laughs> so, it was, it was wild. Um, and, I mean, obviously, there was, like, speculation. Like, my friend and I were talking on Facebook, and we didn't know. I mean, we had no idea what was happening. So, at first, I was like, is it her ankle? Like, obviously, she landed really low, and vault is very demanding on your ankle because you're running jumping on a springboard and, and um you know have you have a very hard landing when you land on the floor so it was like I, like is her ankle bothering her because she's been having ankle issues so we were like what the heck and then obviously like more information kept coming out and it was like you know a medical issue and then it was like basically kind of like her mental health like um they were going to be checking her for competition readiness or something I think they said and I don't know it, it just sounded like she kind of was just pulling out of the competition not feeling ready and then I think some statements were made later like after the competition like essentially she wasn't going to because of where she was at she wasn't going to put that risk on her teammates and things like that. Um, so obviously people are giving her crap, like you, you just quit or whatever, but it was like, like gymnastics is dangerous. Like I don't fault her at all if she wasn't feeling ready to be doing the skills that she does. Cause like, you can't just be like, Oh, I'm just going to do a different skill. Like, I mean, at some, on some level, yes, you can, but like 100% I don't fault her at all if that's you know the deal like you do you girl like <laughs> you need to be healthy and happy and set in what you're doing like obviously all of the girls are ready and trained and are trained on all four events that none of them are specialists none of them are you know like it's the olympics you're the best of the best um but at this point they've already counted Simone's vault which is not the vault that she had intended to do um and you know it was just crazy I don't know what Suni Lee's vault off the top of my head is worth um like if she had vaulted instead of Simone if it had been higher than a 15 um like, had they just made that decision off the bat? I have no idea. Um, but the girls, like, rocked it. Um, after that, like, I was so impressed with how well they kept it together. Um, like, honestly. Like, it was... I mean, like I just said, they're the best of the best. But, like, whew, that is a huge, like mental thing to step into knowing that Simone is literally the best in the world and then all of a sudden you're just like oh we're down our Simone um because I don't care who you are I will argue with you that Simone is the best gymnast in the world like I don't I don't care what any results say like <laughs> she's the best um so, I mean, that's a huge mental break. Obviously, Simone was still there. She still supported them and everything, but it was huge. And then they were, like, behind after Vault, which was their best event, and then um, behind after the next event, and then Russia fell twice on Beam. Um, and our girls did really well on Beam. Jordan Childs had a much better day than qualifying, which was super exciting. It was really nice to see her on top of, like her gymnastics game because she does beautiful gymnastics I love watching Jordan Childs um she like floats on beam it's so pretty and Suni's bars like ugh, just oh my god and Grace was just like calm and collected and like I said her gymnastics has gotten so pretty um she doesn't look all gangly anymore and <laughs> <laughs> um, she's just grown up such so just such a lovely gymnast um so it was like just this huge monumental break um 
for the girls. And then um, Grace stepped out on a floor. My friend was texting me right before floor. And she's like, do you think the Americans can do it? And I was like, well, I don't know what the ROC's start values are on floor. I was like, so I didn't get to watch, you know, on the previous day or whatever, um, like the qualifying because of my whole TV situation. <laughs> I was like, I don't, I don't know what their start values are. So I'm like, I have no idea what we're, what we're working with. I don't know what they scored the day before I said, but Grace has to start, or I said, Grace has to stay in bounds, um, for starters. And they like flipped back to the broadcast, like at that exact moment and Grace stepped out of bounds and I was like, ah, <laughs> um, and then Jordan fell, so that was sad. Um, but it was kind of looking pretty impossible at that point anyways for the U.S. to catch them. Um, but, I mean, they put up good gymnastics and they got the silver, but it was just like holy drama. And then, and then, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the whole like third place battle so china was definitely like predicted to be in the top running i had no idea that italy and france were going to be kind of going head to head for third place also and then great britain sneaks in from nowhere i mean obviously not from nowhere but like Great Brit Britain's in the mix, and they come out in third, and I was like, oh my god, that's amazing. I was so excited for them. Um, that was really, really cool to see. And then China ended up seventh out of eight, so that was really, really crazy. Um, I know there was some, like, scoring discrepancies, I guess, like Bridget Sloan and John Roethlisberger uh, were the announcers on Peacock, um, for the streaming. And I know they were very disappointed in the scores that the Chinese were getting on bars. Um, and they didn't show a ton of the routines, but, uh, I know they were particularly disappointed with the bar scores. Um, I mean, they were kind of disappointed with all the scores in general for everything, but, and I agree because some of it was like, I don't understand how they're getting these scores. Um, especially like when you would compare one thing with another, it was like, they did so many more mistakes and I don't see why and how this is happening. Um, so it was confusing, but you know, things are what they are sometimes. Um, but <laughs> Yeah, it was, it was crazy because China was seventh. That was totally wild to me. Um, and Great Britain was third, which was really, really exciting. I wish this streaming had shown more of their routines. Um, I'm going to try to watch tonight if I can. Like I said, I can't remember if I can get the, the streaming or not for the live broadcast. I don't think I can but maybe, I don't know, I can't remember. Um, but if I can, I'm gonna try to watch again tonight and see if they'll show more um, of Britain's routines. Now that they know who won, you know, sometimes they kind of adjust what they show um, before the live or before the replay. So that it's a little more tailored um, to what like, you know, they're gonna actually talk about, so. Ugh, but it was it was drama from start to finish. It was so exciting. I was so glad I got up in the morning to watch. And if you are a gymnastics fan like me, I'm sure you were just as like shocked and awed and <laughs> completely like just get it. Like the girls from Russia did an amazing job and you know sport is sport just because you're favored doesn't mean you're gonna win um but I don't know I did see some comments online because I follow a lot of gymnastics stuff and it was like oh Russia's coach predicted like if you get rid of Simone like Russia will win and she said this like two years ago or something and it was like well I don't know that that's a fair comparison because 
they got rid of Simone, like, after she messed up. Like, if you had gotten rid of Simone ahead of time and, like, they had prepared for it, it's not the same. Um, like I said, I don't know what Suni Lee's vault score or vault... Uh, like the starting value of her vault is, um, you know, I mean, if, if Simone had pulled out, you know, before the Olympics or had gotten hurt or, you know, had decided not to compete or anything like you could have taken Jade Carey as a, um, team member, as a full team member. And Jade has, Jade, I'm expecting on floor to submit a K level skill to the code of points, which has never been done before. Like that's insane. And Simone has two skills on floor named after her. So when either of them are K level, so like she has insane levels of skill. Um, and then Michaela Skinner is what third in the U S on vaulting. Um, behind Jade and Simone. Yeah. And then same with Floor. And she also can put up big numbers on Beam. Like, you can build a different team if you know that you're going to be down her. Um, but it's a different story when you're down her. And by her, I mean Simone. Like, in the heat of the moment, all of a sudden, because she's changed like what she's doing you know what I mean like I don't know so I was a little like meh at that comment like I'm not gonna comment back but that was just my thoughts so if you've seen those thoughts or seen those kind of comments and you were like what but wait Laura that's my feeling on comments like that <laughs> if you're curious nobody asked me but that was my diatribe on women's gymnastics team competition at the Olympics. I'm very curious to see if Simone is going to compete all around um, because I'm pretty sure had she, like if she decides not to, I'm pretty sure Michaela Skinner would be competing. Very interesting. <laughs> very, very interesting. It is all interesting. I am so curious. Men's all around is tomorrow. I don't expect any of our men to take home a medal. It would be amazing if any of them did, but possibly on event finals, I would expect that would be more likely um, versus all around, but still should be very exciting gymnastics. I don't watch men's gymnastics a ton, like during the year, but definitely like uh, during the Olympics. And some of the bigger meets, I will, like world championships and stuff, but I'm not like diehard for men's gymnastics. I don't know as much about it, so I have a harder time like with all the the moves and the rules and stuff like that. So it's a little trickier for me, but it's fine. Um, let's see. Um, I might do, I kind of feel like I might do this checklist. It kind of feels like overkill, but at the same time, I have a lot going on this week. So I might do that checklist just cause. kind of need it. I still have, I talked about like a week or two ago, having this like giant checklist on another like sheet of paper and I, I kind of had it on sticky notes and then I kind of taped it on top of like a pad of paper and I just kind of kept writing. I'm still on that, like that whole situation <laughs> and I'm just working with it. I have some like half cut headers. I kind of don't really use these a ton. So I'm just going to kind of sneak them in 
to fill some of these gaps. Um, Cause why not? Like just, just to fill the spaces, I guess. I don't know. Oh, I was gonna use this sticker. Maybe I'll use that for my Hello August. It's not quite the same blue, but I figured it's a blue. It's a nautical spread. Blues are acceptable. <laughs> uh, why not? But I was totally gonna use it over here, so that's kind of funny. I forgot. Okay, yeah. Maybe one more down here. But yeah, just kind of bougieing it up with the half cut headers just because there's some like awkward spaces i kind of need like a to do here but i don't exactly know i don't know that i really want to use i mean maybe i should use like one of these colors this kit i will say is not cut very well i think you could see me kind of struggling Let's try the blue. <laughs> um, yeah, it's been kind of a pain to get stuff up. Like it's cut, but definitely not the best. Anyways, so my date. This guy, his name's Ryan. Not that it matters, because we won't be seeing each other again. <laughs> um... Ugh, you guys. I don't know. I just don't know. Um, so... I don't know. When I was in Wisconsin, he messaged me. And... He... seemed really great he's like a project manager for a construction place um very intelligent funny like we got along really well and he was really patient with me because I was like um so I'm kind of in Wisconsin and he's from Minnesota originally so we talked about that and you know all these things oh I like this doesn't have the sticky on it anymore that's random okay I'll find like a different to do situation to put up there. It's just not working for me pulling those stickers off that sheet. <laughs> um, but yeah, he was really patient. Like, I think it got to him a little bit because it was like a long time that I was gone because he messaged me like right away at the beginning when I was, um, when I was gone. So he had to wait a very long time for me to come back. But regardless, it was, you know, he was, he was nice about it. And I don't know. It was all good. Like we'd been talking and stuff. And finally I came back. Um, and we, you know, agreed to meet. He asked me for lunch, but I had been up watching gymnastics, <laughs> the qualifiers really, really late. So I'd actually been sleeping. Um, so, and then I had Pilates scheduled and I was like, sorry, like I can't reschedule Pilates unless I give them like a 12 hour notice. So I, I really apologize. I'm like, but I can't. Um, but he was like, well, what are you doing after Pilates? Um, besides showering. And I was like, well, nothing like just showering. <laughs> and then he asked me for like to go out for a drink or whatever. This was on Sunday. And I was like, yeah, totally. Like that'd be great. So we made plans and we met up and stuff. And he, like, like I said, it'd be he'd been really funny. Um, I think he kind of like prides himself on his personality and like, being a jokester and like not like a class clown kind of jokester but just being like kind of funny and having a lot of personality and you know getting along with people and stuff and like so I was expecting like a good time and um you know like good conversation and like I said he's intelligent and I don't know you guys like <laughs> There were definitely a lot of lulls in conversation, and I was not expecting that. Um, 
and he he had one drink and I was like only a little bit through my drink um and then he wasn't gonna order another drink which is fine but I was kind of like does he want to go um but I was like literally like a quarter of the way through my drink um and then the waitress came around again and he I was like well you might as well because I was only like halfway through my drink at that point and I was like well you kind of might as well like or get like a water or something um so he did but I kind of felt bad like <laughs> like are you are you trying to like get out of the rest of this date like is it that awful that like you're really not wanting it anything like I was confused um so that felt really awkward uh for sure like super awkward um and I didn't know what to do about it because like he apparently had he used to go to this place like quite a bit so like he knew the waitress um and I don't know and he had gotten a couple texts, like, on his, like, Apple Watch or whatever, like, during the date. Um, and he wasn't, like, responding, but he definitely, like, read them. And I was like, like, does the waitress, is, like, the waitress texting him? Like, I did not know, like, because <laughs> it was awkward, right? Like, because she knew him. Like, she knew his drink order. Um, like, that's how familiar they were. Um, so I was kind of like, I don't... I don't know like he said that like he just knew her from there but like like I didn't think he'd like you know dated her or anything but like I didn't know if it, we went there so like he could get her opinion on me like I had no idea what was happening you know what I mean um so it just was awkward <laughs> and I felt bad because I was drinking slow and I wasn't sure if like he was really uncomfortable and like wanted to get out of there or what the situation like I just did not understand what was happening or like why it was so bad because we'd gotten along so well over text for so long <laughs> so I and I wasn't uncomfortable like it like I said I was expecting more from his personality but I wasn't uncomfortable at all I was definitely confused as to why <laughs> um, we weren't, like, meshing as well, but not uncomfortable. So, um, yeah, it was bizarre. But there you go. <laughs> um, I don't know. It was, it was interesting. So... Yeah, and then I thanked him, like, I texted him when I got home and thanked him again, and was, and we had kind of talked about my work, and, like, I'm not looking forward to going back, um, and I, I just kind of mentioned, like, sorry, like, that we talked about work, like, not a great topic for me right now, um, because I was probably not the most chipper <laughs> about that topic, um, so... I just kind of jokingly apologized for that, but, like, in case that was what bored him, but he didn't even respond, so I was just like, okie dokie, guess I'm never talking to you again. I don't know, you guys, I don't, I don't know. I have no words, no explanation. I could not tell you what is happening because I just don't get it like I just I'm like am I really that awful but I don't think I am like but I, I don't know like what I did you know what I mean like were you just not attracted to me but like he's said nice things to me before so I don't know and apparently I will never know but it's confusing, I will say that. It's very confusing. Okay, so, I don't exactly know how to do this. I have these gymnastics text stickers. And I feel like I kinda wanna put them above. And then I have, 
I probably don't need these ones. I mean, they have a couple little balance beam people. These are like the sports sampler from Coffee Monsters Co. And I definitely have been watching other Olympic sports, but I don't know that I'm going to mark them. But I feel like these are nice to have just for like random things. Like I said, I pulled the green one for the Bucks game. Um, so it's just kind of nice to have <laughs> for like random random events so especially as a high school teacher because kids will ask me to come I mean I won't go to like a surfing thing because <laughs> I live in Colorado but I have this Olympic sheet so for women's gymnastics I'll use the balance beam but for men's gymnastics I'll probably use this kind of thing because um uh, it's she didn't do like men's gymnastics here so you know what I mean Okay, anyways, um, so I think, I think I need to put this down first and I just want to write this or I want to put this sticker above because then I don't have to write gymnastics. I mean, I'm going to know like I watch gymnastics because that's just what I do, but I think it'll be easier and then... I'll put this little guy here and then I can just write like men's team final right there and then like women's team final right here yeah that works and then Wednesday is the men's all around Thursday is the women's all around and then there's a little bit of a break before event finals which I kind of wish there wasn't because then event finals goes into my work days, <laughs> but I'll survive. Okay, I need to upload footage. Okay, so I have my footage uploaded. So I did a few things. Um, so on the sidebar, my this week sticker is very, very tiny, um, but I wanted one that had the white background. So I put a few deco pieces. So I put the oar, um, a little starfish, and these plumeria flowers just to kind of take up that extra space. I love how that turned out. I dropped the this week down a little bit. And then this box I wanted for this need more sleep sticker, which I found in my Glam Planner sticker binder from like her like original binder release sheets whatever um and i'm gonna leave room i have like insomnia looking characters or like zombie tired characters something like that um but i didn't pull them because i didn't think about it as far as like how big because i was thinking i was gonna put it on this um this box so I didn't think I would have room for it, but because it's on half box, I have a lot more room, so I need to put a character here, so I'm leaving room for that, um, and then the rest of this is fine, and then I had room underneath both of these to, like, finish out to where that line was, so I grabbed a half cut header, and I stuck it underneath the little edge of the character, really love those, I'm using half cut headers from Scribble Prints Co., um, I don't know if my other one was also Scribble Prints Co., I think so, yeah. I don't even know if they're the same. I don't even care. Because <laughs> um, one of them was from the star, like, set of bougie header and two overlays. And then the other one, I don't even know. It was, like, some other... It was just the half-cut headers that I had left. So I'm just using it. <laughs> um, so like I said, it is Tuesday today. Um, so I need to, like, finish what happened Monday. So I did watch the men's gymnastics and then I slept for like a little while. Um, I'm trying to decide if I'm going to even mark that. I don't know. I don't know that I'm going to. Dishes I can put up in the checklist. I did pull out the dishes like script and um, kind of like the big thing here, big dishwasher, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> um, so we'll put the clean dishes up there. It's kind of big, but it's fine, especially because it already happened, so. <laughs> um, so let's see. I guess I could put sleep and then talk to one of my friends 
here. I'm trying to decide, like, do I leave room? I think I do want to leave room for some sort of washi in here, like a five millimeter. So I'm only going to go to, like, that line. I wonder if I should put, like, a half cut header to be, like, only go to here. You know what I mean? And then washi can go below that just so I know where I'm going. Oops, this like pulled the middle part. Ah, and that didn't stick down. Um, because otherwise I tend to like try to fill the space. And I could layer the five millimeter washi over the bottom washi, but then some days will have stickers all the way to the bottom and some won't and then it looks funny. So I'd rather just do this and then kind of have it be consistent. I don't even know if you can see those, but I can see them. So it helps me. <laughs> um, okay. I don't think anything else on here is for today. Oh, online shopping is for this day because I did... Um, what did I do? I organized my nail polish, my Zoya nail polish. Well, I took an inventory. Well, I, yeah, I inventoried it and uh, organized it all. And then I, um, purchased more. Not that I needed more, but because I've accidentally ordered, reordered some that I owned already, um, it was time to like do the thing of like, let's make an inventory. And I feel like I used to, I used to have like the spoons or like the, where you could like do the nails and like paint them, but that was a whole lot of work. So I used to have some sort of inventory, but... That was all of my nail polish, not just my Zoya, but I don't really buy any other brands except for like every now and again. Um, I'll pick up a certain color if I see one that I'm like, ooh, that one I really like. Um, but otherwise it's pretty, pretty random if I'm gonna pick up a different brand. So it's mostly my Zoya that I have to keep track of. Okay, so I'm gonna put the like sleeping in here and then I'll put talking to my friend here. So it'll be like here, here, here as far as like characters. And then online shopping. I'll put the like organizing nail polish up here and then I'll put the online shopping. Ooh, that really stuck to my finger. Um, down here somewhere. And I'll put, so organizing will probably be two, and then, yeah, so the shopping will be two. And then I can write Zoya underneath it. And I'll do a nail polish, because I don't think there is one here. There's a shopping bag, but yeah, I'll do a nail polish sticker to go with that. So, that works for me. I think I'm going to do this like teardrop just for like in here for like what I'm what I'm going to put here. That works. Okay. All right. So then on Tuesday, which is today, um, I slept until 445 and then I got up for the gymnastics final. And then I did a grocery order. Did I even pull out? I forgot to pull out grocery stickers. So I did a grocery order and then like that all came in and everything. Um, and then what have I been doing? I planned. Um, I should clean my bathroom. I kind of pulled out a bunch of chore stickers of like what I want to do this week. Yeah, I think I want to clean the bathroom today. That's not terrible. And then I didn't pull this sticker out, but I want to. 
Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to use it or not, but I definitely did this, so I need it. <laughs> um, it says plan last week, lol. And I was laughing at it. Okay, so it says grocery shop. But I have like grocery order, like that kind of thing. So bed early, sleep in, sleep late. Okay, those don't just say like sleep, so. Um, okay, so clean bathroom. Okay, I definitely planned first, so we'll put the planning. Oh my God, these stickers. Okay, we'll put the planning. Plan last week, LOL. Up here, that is so funny. I love L stickers. And then we'll put clean bathroom underneath it. <laughs> And I think there's a planner. Yes, there is a planner. Although that's really big. Well, I think I'll use it anyways. It's cute. Okay. Is there like a spray bottle? Nope. Nothing like that. Workout, meal plan, relax. Payday, date night bath. Um, okay, I think, is there an icon? Okay, no icon there. I don't really want, like, another gold, like, gold stuff, so I think I'll just leave it as this, um, and that will be fine. Totally fine. I have other, like, cleaning icons for later in the week, so plan last week, lol, that is so funny. Um, it's definitely too many like hearts, but I'm not terribly concerned. And then anything else I get up to this evening, because I'm not really sure what else I'm going to do. Um, I can put down here and then down here, this will be for groceries. So I think I'm just going to put like a half box and then I'll have to get the grocery stickers out because they're in an album I can't reach right now so looks like I said I oops <laughs> I forgot to pull them out but yeah do you guys want to know why I placed a grocery order today because I ran out of chai mix and I had no caffeine and this whole week of like living on Tokyo time is bonkers although I will say it's getting me ready for work because I'm like going to bed and getting up for like four o'clock stuff, which is definitely closer in time than me like getting up at 11. So there's that. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Wednesday. Yes, there's gymnastics Wednesday, Thursday. So um, I think I'll use... I think I'll use the... Oh, I need like a... I didn't really think about colors. Well, that's a bummer. Yeah, I 100% didn't think about colors, otherwise I would have used that one later in the week. I could pull out gold though. Oh my gosh, do you guys know what movie I watched last night? I didn't mark it here, but I watched um, Christopher Robin. That was so cute. So, so cute. Kind of depressing, but like through a lot of it, but really cute. I've been wanting to see it for a while, and I'm going to get rid of my Disney subscription for a little bit because I know with like going back to work, um, I'm not going to have time to watch stuff. So, like, why? Why keep paying for it? But before it goes away, I figured let's try to watch a couple more things. So, yeah, I'm just working through my, like, what's on my, I don't know, you, like, put a plus sign or something of, like, things you want to watch. Your watch list, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> 
Um, and yeah, really cute. Okay, so this is the men's all around and I think I'll just put the little like TV with the Olympic rings. Cute, and then another gymnastics word. I didn't find my like gold boxes. I don't, my stickers are so disorganized. That's my next project is like my closet organization and decluttering and stickers because they're both bunkers, but I figured I would use this for the women's all around because gorgeous. Okay, wait, what else do I need to mark for Wednesday? I have a lot going on this week, you guys. Um, okay, so that's the men's event finals. That's at 4.15 a.m. my time, and then I have Pilates at 10.15, so I can like shower in between there, or maybe I'll shower tonight. I don't know. Yeah, showering tonight would make more sense. Um, Shower and then Pilates actually, oof. Yeah, no, I'll probably shower here because I need to go from Pilates to a doctor's appointment. So that would probably be better if I shower tomorrow. <laughs> It'd be nice if I could shower between Pilates and my doctor's appointment, but that's not going to happen. So, like, I don't have enough time. So, at least if I can shower the day of, that would be better <laughs> than showering the night before. <sighs> yeah. Okay. So, this will be doctor's appointment. I didn't pull out doctor's stickers either. I guess I forgot about that. And then I have a bill due. I think there were bill stickers. Yes. Ooh, they're kind of large. I might have to layer this in the checklist, but that should be fine because I don't have a ton necessarily that I need to mark. So there's that. Okay, so bill due, that is my phone bill. Event finals. Pilates. Oh wait, Pilates and doctor's appointment. Oh my gosh, I did just did that wrong. Okay. Whoops. Okay. Let's do this touching down here. That will be a doctor's appointment and we'll put Pilates in here. Um, I was so busy talking about the shower that I didn't, I didn't put the Pilates sticker. I kind of want like a, I don't know, a something. So I didn't exactly know what I wanted, but I found a little munchkin with it says hashtag squats. It just needed something there. And then we'll do the Pilates script here. And then I did find, while I was looking for stuff, this doctor's appointment sticker, which is fine. And then in the little corner right here, I can just write the time, because I don't remember. <laughs> um, yeah that all works and I still have room in my checklist for whatever else happens that day perfect okay so Thursday first thing is the uh, women's all around and like I said I'm gonna use this um, gorgeous sticker but I think I want to do like the half cut headers kind of underneath for I mean, is that going to be too much? Like, I feel like that's going to kind of be a lot. Maybe I won't. I'll just do it like this. Okay. And 
and we'll do the little yellow one because it's kind of close to this tan sandy color whatever <laughs> and I'll put her here like that and then my gymnastics script oops I could have well I guess I was gonna say I could have moved it down a little but like it's already kind of a big sticker so and then I can write women's all around that one's at 4 50 a.m. my time which is fine and then the only other thing I have marked is laundry I do have a sticker well I have like a script and a character so it's kind of big maybe I'll put it in the half box because I really don't have a lot else scheduled and if I do have anything come up I can put it in the checklist so we're just gonna we're just gonna make laundry a big deal this day oops I should have put half cut header at the bottom for where the bottom washi line is so I know where I'm marking things <laughs> Um, so I'm going to line this up with that. And when these stickers rip, they just ruins everything. I'm just going to flip it. Because it's not like setting down smoothly. Okay. So I'll put my little character over here. And that's Glam... Oh my god, these are both Glam Planner, like the script and the character. I'm going to put that on an angle, but man, they are very sticky. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's cute. I like it. Okay. Oh, goodness. You guys, Friday... Friday I have to go into work for like actual worky things <laughs> um not just like last time well last time kind of turned out to be a little bit more than what I had bargained for but this one's like scheduled stuff so the people that hadn't gone in because those ones weren't required um the whatever day I went in a couple weeks ago um, so like if people didn't pick up keys or computer or anything, they can get them on Friday, but I already have mine and yeah, so there's like a whole morning. So I got out work half day, like that's the sticker set that I got for this. Um, so maybe this sticker. I think that'll work. It's really annoying when stickers are not cut. I mean, I'm glad I don't have to, like, get scissors out, but still. <laughs> Oops, this is not the right color. I need the teal. Oh my gosh. Okay. Man. All right. I was looking at the header, <laughs> but it's not that one. All right, so we have this. There is a computer. I think I'm gonna take that. Especially because it's a nice contrasting color. Well, I mean, it's blue, so it's not really contrasting, but you know what I mean. It's different than the teal. Okay. Work half day. So. Let's see. I think we'll put this, like... I'm going to kind of put it in the corner here like this because I know I'm not going to need any room or I'm not going to need anything there. This half day sticker is just like tall. 
So I want to make sure I have room for it. But it's got to make sense. I can't put the half day on the left side and then put the work on the right. So I think we'll put that at an angle. Okay, work half day like that. I think this needs like a foil bow or something, but I will worry about that another day. <laughs> um, oh, I forgot some things on Thursday. So I have a plan next week sticker, which will go in my checklist. And I'm going to put it down here at the bottom. And then I also need to, ooh, I have organized, ooh, I should probably do that the same day that I'm doing laundry. So we'll put that at the top. And then I have dust, we'll put that on Friday. Let's look at maybe the previous. Um, I should be back by my appointment by like two or something. So I'm gonna actually put dust on Wednesday. That shouldn't be anything too stressful to get done earlier this week. So, cause I don't wanna have to do it on Friday if I can help it. Okay, I'm still holding this box and that is the wrong thing to hold. Okay. So Friday, work half day, and then I did schedule a Pilates class that day. Um, I think I'm going to take this label, if I can get it off the paper. Definitely not like that. So let's try... Man, you guys, this is killing me. Okay, I found a few things. So I have this little emoji that says keep and buy, which is like the decluttering. So I'm gonna put that up here with the organized closet. And then I found this character, which is from Velia Tama or something like that, um, which has the alarm clock. And I'm gonna put that here for setting my alarm clock because Friday I have to get up for work so I'm just gonna write in there like set alarm um, just so I don't forget and then I know this has nothing to do with Pilates because it is a treadmill but it is a mermaid on a treadmill and this is like a sea kit or something like you know it has like boating and it's just too cute so um, I'm gonna use this for Pilates because why not so we're gonna put this on just a strip of this paper because nothing else will come off and it's frustrating <laughs> so we're gonna do that and then I have a plenty sticker oh no oh no oh no oh no I definitely have like a meeting later okay so we'll put Pilates there and then Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> okay, I guess this will go up here, which is fine. So we'll put film at the bottom. And then I also have a Power Sheets group meeting scheduled for the 30th. So put that in there. Okay. I also found in here there's like a mermaid taking a nap oh my god these are so funny so i'm gonna put that one here for need more sleep and then this was talking on the phone i think yes and there is this mermaid talking on the phone oh my god i knew i saved these for a reason they are too stinking cute I can't even. <laughs> okay, this can like totally go into the sidebar, so. OMG. Too funny. Okay, so there's that. And then this was sleep. No, this was phone. This was sleep. Shoot. Okay because that happened in the other order. So 
So this was this was talking on the phone. Okay, I also have like this little cat that is yawning, but it matches. So why not? I'll just use all the little characters today. I love when I dig into my collection and like have random things. So this is sleep. This is phone. Yes. Oh my gosh, too cute. This is grocery. I don't have grocery. Although I have like she's eating like chocolates or like pizza or on the computer. And I could do like any of those. I might do this one and then put like an order grocery script because it's just too funny. Oh my gosh, I can't. Hilarious. Okay, what else can I use? Wine and then this I can use for... Um, Aura Estelle has a release on Saturday of her, like, tote bags, which I'm very excited about. And I think I want that to be my uh, work bag for the year because I used a Kate Spade for the past two years. So I think I'm going to get a new work bag. So, I'll put that there for ordering from Aura Estelle. Um, we'll do that. Okay. There's no gymnastics on on a Saturday. Um, I have Pilates scheduled. So, we can use this. Ooh, I wonder what time the release is at. I will have to double check. Because I do not know. And then stats I can put in my sidebar, or not my sidebar, my checklist. Pilates. Stats. Maybe I can put it like here and then I can actually, okay, so edit, I'll put here. And then YouTube, Instagram here. So I'll put stats like right there. And then I have room to put the actual statistics in there. And then I'll do the same thing with goals here. And then I'll put the upload sticker down here. Because I like those to typically be like all the way across. Um, dishes. Let's see. I did them Monday. I probably should do them Friday. I'm only one person. It takes me a while to like fill up my dishwasher. <laughs> um, and then I have my Hello August. Um, I think I'm gonna like hang it on the full box because it is a different color. And since I am kind of color blocking ish. I'm gonna just kind of pop it on here. I wish that was like any other full box besides the one that had like a hangy thing right here. <laughs> I feel like it's not the worst though. Ah. Okay. I think I'm gonna put it on an angle though. Hello, August. That's really thick. This is a rose gold this week. It's just left over from a I was spread and then down here 
Um, that's not going to be big enough. Let's see. I am going to an event. So, oh shoot. Okay, well there's, there's gymnastics. So I think I'm going to take like two little things. And kind of make like a box. And this is the first day of event finals. I forget what the events are. And event finals are mixed um, men's and women's. So yeah, I didn't write down, but I'm just gonna put a beam. I'm gonna use the gray. Because I don't want to use the pink. It's going to clash with the red. So, we'll put gymnastics here. Ooh, I really want to make sure I cover the icons. More important for me to cover the icons than covering the head. <laughs> um, and then let's put... I didn't do this on here. Yeah. Well, I just kind of covered the... I kind of want like a... Like, do I care that it's layered over? I don't even know that I do. But here I'm going to care. So let me lift the bottom. These are fairly old, so it should come up pretty easily. Just a little extra sparkle in there. I'm not gonna worry about this one, and then maybe I'll put one in here, especially because then that uses up this sheet. Yeah, that's better. Especially because I didn't put them underneath the scallop putting one right there it definitely helps a little bit just a little foil on each day I love that I have these gymnastic stickers these are from chic straight sticker boutique I can't remember if I did a custom word um I knew I was getting like olympic stickers or if I did like if she had them I really don't remember but I know like this was all in preparation for 2020 but then covid <laughs> um okay Oh, I have an event to go to, that's right. Okay, so I need this, and I just need like some sort of red that matches, sort of. I just don't want it to clash too badly with the other red that's in this kit. Maybe this one. So I'm going to the Immersive Van Gogh exhibit. If you guys have heard of that, um, it's all over the nation, but not everywhere. Like, it's only in specific cities. But my friend bought tickets, and we are going on this day. I have no idea how to mark that, so I think I'm going to just leave it for now and then figure out a way to mark it maybe after I've been. So I kind of have a better idea of what it was like because I'm just a little a little confused maybe I should do the wine um and then I'm gonna use this mermaid I need to do my floors for sure and I think Saturday would be a really good day I don't have a ton going on on Saturday so we can do those up here um, Sunday is going to be crazy. And then I just need another like workout type character. Okay, this character has a little peach next to its booty, <laughs> which is perfect because we definitely work 
our booties in Pilates. Okay, I think that's it. I have Deco um, for sure that I will use because it's really cute, but it's a pain to get off this paper um, because of the cutting. So I'm not gonna waste the time to do it now. Plus, I don't really know where it's gonna go um, because this is a pretty full spread. So it's kind of a long plan with me, but that's kind of what happens when I talk through the whole thing. So um, I think you can see most of it. I'm gonna have to figure out a washi. I really have no idea what I'm gonna put there. Um, as far as the color, like I said, I don't know that I want to bring in more red, but I might need to bring in a little more red. I just don't think I'm going to have the correct red to pull in. Ugh, I don't know. Maybe. I feel like it does need a touch more red, so that might be my best option. So this is super cute. I think it's adorable. There is a lot going on, but like I said, I had a lot to mark this week, which I think is fun because a lot of times you see very empty spreads when I'm done for the week, like done planning. Um, but part of it's just because there's a lot of gymnastics to mark, so that's that's really all it is <laughs> but I do like doctor's appointments and going back to work and things like that but um I love these little mermaid characters I have no idea where they're from because I just put them in that little album um a long time ago they were on a freebie and I have never shopped at that shop before as far as I know they were just literally on a freebie and I was like these are cute they're gonna come in handy someday and today was the day because the hair matches perfectly um and they're just too cute. I can't even stand it. I don't know where this cat is from either. If you guys know where the mermaids are from, like if you just happen to know, please leave it down below because they're so adorable. Um, but that's it. This kit again was from Sparrow Plans. If she's still open, I'll leave her down below. Otherwise, you know, like sailing type kits are super easy to find in the summer. So I'm sure you can find one. <laughs> but if you have any specific questions about where anything is from, please don't hesitate to ask. I used a lot of Glam Planner stickers this week for scripts and things. Um, these like curly Q uh, ones with the bows are letters to Apollo. Um, but other than that, I think that's about it. Feel free to ask questions. Um, but yeah, let me know if you are enjoying gymnastics and or the Olympics. I'm disappointed with a lot of stuff with the Olympics, but diehard gymnastics fan. So <sighs> it is what it is. <laughs> All right. I will catch you guys in the next video. Hit that subscribe button. I hope you guys will stick around and hopefully we can keep getting better with the uh, schedule of Plan With Me's so that they're not late. Anyways, I will talk to you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Bye. Yeah.